Hello, welcome to Spurred On. I'm Rhys James. I've bought a Tottenham shirt. And welcome to another 8-bit debate. This is the debate where these guys are going to furiously debate a topic and the first one to 8 points wins. Probably thinking, hang on, who is this guy hosting this? He's so charismatic and really good looking. Where's Barnaby? Barnaby is right there. This week, he's getting angry and these guys have been debating this topic non-stop. So I've let him step into the arena and I'm going to guest host. Easy. This week's topic is... Jermaine Defoe or Robbie Keane? Who's best? I'm going to hand it over to our guest first, who is arguing for Robbie Keane. Barnaby, kick us off. Thank you very much, Reese. Uh, there's no argument as far as I'm concerned. Robbie Keane is a better player than Jermaine Defoe, especially for Spurs. And let me tell you how. He was a leader, a leader of men. He was a Ooh. fighter. He was a scrapper. He, was, he came from the, the rough streets of Dublin or Tipperary or somewhere in Italy. Italy? Ireland. Don't get, don't knock off the point. Away. Anyway, Not he was a scrapper. On minus one. He was a scrapper. He was a fighter, and most importantly, he lifted the league cup for us one point with for Barnaby. Ledley King. Now, ask, ask yourselves: Has Jermaine Defoe won anything in his career? Craig Mitch, over to you. I would like to say that point was cute, but it was downright rubbish. So I'm going to start with mine. Uh, Jermaine Defoe. No, he hasn't won anything in his career with Spurs, but he is one of only five players ever in the Premier League to score five goals in one game. Alongside the likes of Andy Craig. Cole, Alan Shearer, Berbatov, and whoever the other player was. Yeah. Jermaine Defoe. And you remember the game? We beat Wigan 9-1. It was our I biggest win. Yeah, it was our biggest win Great ever. Game. High five for that, Reese. There you go. Five for Jermaine Defoe's goals. Has Robbie Keane ever scored five in a game, Barnaby? Has he? No, he hasn't. But okay. what he has done is scored 65 international goals for Ireland in only Ireland. 140. Yeah. Because there's exactly. so much competition for the uh, to play no. up top for Ireland, Great. isn't there? Actually, and I, as I think, that, that, as I know that, the that, fans that, that, will be England. saying at home, how much harder is it to score goals for Ireland than it is for England? Went for Barnaby. Exactly. Right. Okay. Barnaby. All right. Very okay. Nice. All right. So you want to go into international credentials? Defoe scored uh, the last goal in the World Cup to get us into the knockout stages against Slovenia. We haven't been in the knockout stages since. So if it wasn't for Jermaine Defoe, we wouldn't have got to the knockout stages in the 2010 World Cup. He did do that. When was the last time Robbie Keane scored a World Cup goal that got them through to the knockout stages? Okay. Have Ireland even well, been in the knockout okay. stages? Okay. Still down. I'm giving Craig a point because Jermaine Defoe has also had a fairly respectable international career. No, he has not. He has a respectable he's, international career. That's the only Do important goal he's ever scored. It's an here. important he's goal. He's played some good games. He scored Jeez a few important Christ. goals. He hasn't had and as in qualifiers, he scored hat tricks as well. But that's two all. Story. How about this one? Go on. Robbie Keane is number four in the list of total accumulated transfer fees in the history of football. What is that? Ninety-one mean? million pounds he has, mm. he has costed over the over the years for many clubs, and that is only, he is that. only behind. Let's 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 see the kind of the kind of players that he, he's in a group with here. Andy Carroll, CR7, Cristiano Ronaldo, Falcao, Juan Sebastian Veron. What is this? Oh, no, Nicholas, Nicholas Anelka and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's one of the top, that basically that. means he is one of the top 10 best players of all time. What has transfer fees of got all to do with okay. okay. Given that you're arguing that Varane is one of the top 10 footballers of all time. <laughs> oh, why don't you ask yourself what I'm Roy Keane you said no, about all right. Varane. All right. In his autobiography when he said he was the most incredible player he ever saw in training. So yes, in training. Being on that list I'm does good in training, something. mate. I can sing in the shower. That point was absolutely awful. Let me go on to a real point. Defoe has scored 143 goals for Spurs compared to Robbie Keane's 122. That is what scored you call goals. a point goal scorer. Craig. He's, he's fifth on the all-time Spurs top scorers list. Only behind Cliff Jones. That is some good company to be well, in. How about Where's here? Robbie Keane? How about this? Like 10? How about here's a point that should make me get five points. Go on. Jermaine Defoe's favourite player was Ian Wright. Point for Barnaby. What? AKA oh. Woolwich legend. Yeah. And he always talks about, even when he was at he Spurs, bang on about he him. always bangs on about, oh, call up Wrighty when I've got a problem. Oh, Wrighty, please help me, Wrighty. I'm on a goal. Can you play him? Point for Craig for your impression of Jermaine Defoe. <laughs> that's four points to Craig. So he's halfway Hold there. On. And at the halfway point, I'm going to say that's the end of part one. Join us in part two to see who wins this 8 bit debate. Me. I wrote a song for you. I wrote a song for you.